Okay, we got a wireless baby monitor here. Um, this is the BM10 wireless baby monitor. So uh, you say, Mark, your kids are 7 and 10, why do you need a baby monitor? Well, oh, there's a nice picture of a nice baby on the side of the box. Um, so the plan is to have this up in the boys' room so that we can check on them without actually having to walk all the way upstairs. Does that make me lazy? Heck yeah. 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission, lullaby player, so it's going to have some kind of music to it. Room temperature monitor, that's important, so if your room's on fire, we'll be the first to know. Infrared night vision, looking forward to that, and two-way talk. So this is kind of the reason I picked this thing up, is I'm hoping that our 7 and 10 year olds can talk back to us. So we can say, hey boys, time for dinner, and they can say, yeah, we already had dinner at Becky's house, or whatever they're going to say. Anyway, too much information. Hey, look what I did. I left it in the box for you guys. Zoom back just a little bit so you can see this. This is going to be great. Everybody loves an unboxing. You always ask for it. So here it is. Look, an unboxing. Slide it out of the box. There it is. So we have a few things. Surprise! So they're asking you to do a review for it. Do that. That's great. What's the next thing? Oh, here's the 2.4 gigahertz wireless baby monitor user manual. So definitely have a look through here. I'll scan through this quickly. You can pause this video if you want to take a look at greater in greater detail. But um, this goes over the do's and don'ts and how-to's of the product, and that's always important. Don't pretend like you know everything, although I'm probably not going to read this too. Well, you know what? I am going to read that. I'm going to go through that. Let's get to what's in the box. The most important thing, perhaps, is the monitor itself. So it's an independent monitor. Looks like it might be oh, USB, but... Uh, Anyway, let's get everything out and you can have a look at what's in the box and then I'll magically have everything put together for you in a second here. Um, pairing button and LED. So this is your camera. It has LEDs on it. Hopefully those aren't, hopefully those are near infrared, not um, bright LEDs to wake up your child. But, oh, and a little microphone there. So that's pretty cool. This, uh, that's pretty neat. And then, don't need that anymore. We have a plug-in device, that'll be presumably for the monitor, and another identical one which will be for the camera. Seems really simple. Then they also include a somewhat useless drywall insert, which I, I hate these. I mean, there's far better options than that, but if that's all you got, go for it. Go ahead and use that. I plan on just setting this thing in the kitchen and on the boys' room counter. So, through the magic of video, let's get this thing all set up and ready to go, and we'll go from there. And shazam, everything's out of the package, so we're ready to roll here. Let's get rid of the box again. Um, let's start with this guy. So it has a little thing that you can put out, and so it'll sit like that or in a second position. So that's how I intend on using it, right there on the kitchen counter in the kitchen. And uh, we can keep an eye on them. So this is the monitor, it's the BM10. Uh, input is DC 5 volts or at 1 amp. So that is actually the same as all of your USB plugs. Um, this puts out about 5 volts, so I believe it's 4.7. So that's a good thing because um, they do include this plug-in thing, but if you want to use something different then you could, as long as it has the same end, which is a um, micro USB plug. So basic premise of this is find the hole and plug it in. There it is. That was easy. All done there. And let's open up the back here so we can set that down. That's how I intend on using it. But probably the cord is dragging it down, so let's... Ooh, that was fast. Okay, and then for the second one, let's do the same speed up here. Go. Ooh, that was quick as well. And now we're just going to plug this into here. And that's it, folks. That's all it takes. So your microphone just sits out front there. The camera will be there. Hopefully the microphone isn't in the camera. And now we're just going to use this plug-in and plug that in. And plug this in. And we are good to go. You can see a green light has come on there and a red light has come on there. Other than that, I don't see any action. So let's fire this up. Let's see if I can do it without reading the manual. I bet I can't. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Let's just start pushing buttons and see what happens. You know what's going to have to happen? I'm going to have to... Oh! Found it! Power button is on the side. I did that without reading the manual. That's a man thing. Try not to read the manual if you don't have to. So push, push and hold. There. Nope. Green. Something. Okay. Um, we're going to take a short commercial break for me to read the manual. You guys just sit back and enjoy this. Okay, so we're back. We've just finished reading the instructions. The minimal amount of reading involved, um, it says to uh, plug it in, which we've done, and then press and hold the power button for three seconds. One, two, three. 
Boom! Oh, you know what? Woo! This thing is plug and play. Now, I'm going to turn it off. Two, three. Okay, so the reason we had so much reverberation there is because the microphone from this was sending wirelessly to this, but the audio from this was also going to the microphone from that, so we had kind of that echo going on there, which I'm going to say was extremely annoying. To get rid of that, I'm going to take the camera elsewhere um, and set it up, and then we'll go through some of the features of this monitor. Now, um, I must say, I, I literally plugged them both in and held down the power button for three seconds, and it worked. That is a big feature. To me, that's a big feature. Cam Park, you've done well with that. I don't have to worry about pairing these or hooking up the green wire to the brown wire and then running it around the back and hooking the loops. There's none of that. Oh, it came on again. Now it's not three seconds. Hello, 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 hello. All right, so that's pretty cool. I like that it's easy to set up. That's a big deal to me. So there you go. There's the kitten and caboodle. I'm going to set this up in another room and uh, maybe I can get a handy volunteer to help me out with this little situation and we can do some two-way um, stuff and see what's going on there. All right, so I have set up the camera in the boys' room. They're up there. You can see them playing with their Lego right there. Let me zoom on that a little bit so you can see. The picture quality is actually decent. Um, I'm not sure if it's the lighting up there or what, but it's kind of got a bluish gray tinge to it. Uh, we actually had this whole system outside earlier and it was pretty good. We were using it outside with two remote battery packs. Anyway, oh, they've gone off. Click them back on. So the features of this, you can see the signal strength up there. This is the volume of this unit. I can turn that down, turn it up. Uh, voice activation is on. Um, microphone is, we're on camera two, sorry. And it's 20 degrees Celsius upstairs in their room. It's also charging. This has a battery, so you can, for a short time, I don't know how long, but you can unplug this, and it works free of being plugged in. So, there you go. Another quick feature to show you is right here. This is like a microphone, so what I'll do is I'll hold this down, and I can talk to the boys upstairs. Hey, boys, it's Dad. I see you. What are you guys doing? They're always playing Lego. So another feature of this, and I'll show this on a separate camera view, is um, the ability to turn on the LED light. And that is... Oh, here's the brightness of this screen. So we can turn that up and down. And then within the menu, we have the LED. Oh, I can play music up there for them as well. Here's a song. Here's a song, boys. doesn't sound great here, but it sounds okay upstairs, I think. Then the other thing is I can turn on and off the LED light here. So there's the LED light on, and there it is off. Boys, are you able to see the light come on on the camera when I do this? All right, so they can see that there. So that's pretty neat. You can turn that on and off. Um, what else to say? I don't know. I think this thing is pretty neat. The quality is pretty good. Um, we're interested to see how far this thing will actually transmit. In the manual it says two to three hundred meters. That's a long ways. Having said that, this is 2.4 gigahertz. It may very well. Um, so we're going to go out now and do a range test. I know it's minus 15, but we're going to go do that now and see what we get. All right, boys, say goodbye. Wave to the baby monitor. Bye. 
Okay, we're out here. Um, we're going to range test. I got my two assistants. I got Mr. Colton and I got Mr. Kyron. And we're going to range test the baby monitor. Plug it in. Go ahead and plug it in, Colton. Yeah, I will. Oh, and we got a new friend here to help us out. Hi, Lily. It's Lily the dog. All right, plug it in. See if it's working. It's all right. She's in the movie. It's perfect. Okay, Kyron, plug it in. She'll be in our movie. It's perfect. All right. Is it working? Yours working, Colton? Yep. Looks like it's beeping. Okay. And let's see if Karen's got video. Let's come over here and see. Turn it on, Karen. There. All right. So there we go. We're live. All right. Colton, if you want to walk down the block, we're going to see how far you can get before the signal gets really bad. Okay. You can run if you want. How's the signal, Karen? We want to be able to see it here. You just turn a little bit this way and we can see it. Mm -hmm. Still not bad. Getting a little glitchy. Alright, still looks pretty good though. And there he is down there, so let's keep going. My hands are freezing. Alright, are we losing signal now? No, he's still there. Oh my god. That's incredible. It's supposed to go two or three hundred meters, they say. What? It's just a baby monitor. Huh? Yeah. A baby monitor? We're going to hook it up to your dog and see how far it goes. <laughs> Still have good signal. Can't see him now. Yeah, he's gone. Where did he go? He's on the road, maybe. Yeah. Did he go left around the corner? No, I don't see. Oh, okay. Okay, Karen, hold it up. Oh, no signal, camera one. He's going. He's walking forward. Okay, Colton, hold it right there. Okay, we've got good signal to there, so I know where you are. You're about a block and a quarter. Okay, you can come on back, Colton. Looks like about it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. We did a good range test. We're not sure how far we are, but we'll show it on Google Earth right here. All right, so that does it for the uh, baby monitor range test and review. Um, really impressed that's 205 meters i mean that's a long ways for a baby monitor uh and keep in mind that was line of sight but there's also wi-fi stuff that's going on around there distracting this thing so in the house it has no issues at all going from the basement to the top floor etc um 205 meters a long ways it would even go further than that i'm sure if we had a clear kind of clear area free of other wi-fi signals so anyway that's it from family four two thumbs up from us and uh Go get yourself one of these baby monitors. It's pretty cool. We're going to use it for a lot of things.